गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स यस्टर इफ यू स्टार्टेड योर ए चैप्टर दैट इज़ वाई आई डोंट वेयर इयर रिंग्स एंड वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट फिनिश द हाफ ऑफ द स्टोरी एंड टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ द स्टोरी सो स्टूडेंट्स एट फर्स्ट लेट मी रीड आउट द रिमेनिंग स्टोरी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू One afternoon I came home from school and rushed into the kitchen as usual for a snack. Sorry, snack. Hello Bhabhi, I called. I am starving. There was silence. My mother was sitting on the floor pounding spices. Brightly colored turmeric and cumin filling the air with their aroma. Over and over she pounded. Her eyes would not meet mine. What had I done? I was very sad and went to my room. When I opened my cupboard, I saw that all the things I had taken were gone. I had been caught. My cousin Rina came into my room. They knew you were stealing, she said. They were waiting for you to come clean, but you just kept on. I felt a terrible sinking feeling in my stomach. I went back, sorry, walked back to my mother with my hat bowed. What you did was wrong, Malala, she said. Are you trying to bring shame on us that we can't afford to buy such things? It's not true, I lied. I didn't take them. but she knew i had safina started it i protested she took the pink phone that abba bought me my mother was unmoved safina was sorry safina is younger than you and you should have taught her better she said you should have set an example I started crying and apologized over and over again. Don't tell Abba. I begged. I couldn't bear for him to be disappointed in me. It's horrible to feel unworthy in the eyes of your parents. It wasn't the first time when I was little I went to the bazaar with my mother. and spotted a pile of dime uh, almonds on a cart they looked so tasty that i couldn't resist grabbing a handful my mother told me off and apologized to the cart owner he was furious and wouldn't be placated we still had little money and my mother checked her purse to see what she had can you sell them to me for 10 rupees she asked no he replied almonds are very costly my mother was very upset and told my father he immediately went and bought the whole lot from the man and put them in a glass dish almonds are good he said If you eat them with milk just before bed it makes you brainy But I knew he didn't have much money and the almonds in the dish were a reminder of my guilt I promised myself I would never do such a thing again And now I had My mother took me to say sorry to Safina and her parents It was very hard. Safina said nothing about my phone, which didn't seem fair, but I didn't mention it either. Though I felt bad, I was also relieved it was over. Since that day, I have never lied or stolen. Neither a single lie nor a single penny. not even the coins my father leaves around the house which we are allowed to buy snacks with 
I also stopped wearing jewelry because I asked myself, what are these baubles which tempt me? Why should I lose my character for a few metal triplets? But I still feel guilty. And to this day, I say sorry to God in my prayers. So this is the end of the story. Now students, let me give you the summary of this part of the poem. Uh, sorry, story. So, till yesterday we read that Malala soon developed the habit of stealing. And she was not able to stop it. After that, one afternoon, when she came back home, she asked her mother to give her food. But her mother was pounding spices and was completely ignoring her. It seems as if her mother was very much angry with her. But she couldn't understand anything that why was she angry at her. She then quietly moved to her room. And when she opened her cupboard, she found that the things that she took from Safina were all missing. And then she realized that she had been caught. She felt very sorry. She was feeling very low while going to her mother. Her mother told her that she has done a great wrong. And these things would bring shame to their family. But Malala did not accept at first. She told that she did not do them, do this. But Safina start, told that she took uh, it all by purpose. Malala then informed her mother that as Safina had taken her pink phone, so she did the same to him, same to her. But her mother scolded her more. As Malala should teach her, uh, teach Safina, as Safina was younger to her, younger than her. Malala then started crying and she told her mother, she requested her mother to not to tell her Abba, as it will be very bad to feel unworthy in the eyes of her parents. As this is not the first time. When she was a little girl, one day she went to a bazaar with her mother and spotted a pile of almonds on a cart. They were looking very much delicious. So she just took a handful of the almonds. Her mother immediately took the almonds from her and apologized to the cart owner. But he was very much angry. Mother immediately took checked her purse and asked her that if he could uh, sell those almonds in rupees 10. But the seller, he told, he refused her and told that almonds are very costly and he can't sell them to her. Well, after coming to home, her mother told this to her father. Her father then immediately went to the market and bought a whole lot, lot from that man and told and put them in a glass dish. He also told her to eat them with milk just before the bed as this will make her brainy. But Malala knew that her father did not have so much money to buy that amount of almonds and it was a reminder of her guilt since that time she promised to never do such kind of things again but again maybe purposely or by unknowingly she did the same thing then her mother took her to safina and her parents to say sorry dear safina did not say anything about her phone it was, she was hurt, 
but still she did not mention it in front of safina's parents since then she never lied or never stole anything not even a single penny or coins from her parents and she even stopped wearing jewelry because she asked she told herself that this small pieces of uh, cheap jewelry can't force her to lose her character okay students so this is the story and i hope that you all have understood and you have got the lesson from the story that we sh- can never lie to anyone and we can't steal anything from any person we should always take permission before taking some someone else's things so students here are the word meanings from this last part of the passage and they are number 1 aroma which means a pleasant smell number b abba which means father c placated which means made to feel less energy eight bubbles which means a piece of jewelry that are cheap and have little value now students let me give you some important question answers from the story here the first question is who was safina where did malala meet her and your answer is safina was malala's new playmate malala met safina on their new road where they moved number 2 how did malala justify stealing from safina to herself malala justified her stealing by saying that as safina had stolen her things So now she would do the same to her. And question number three: How did Malala's father help Malala realize her mistake when she was young? And the answer is, to make Malala realize her mistake, her father bought a whole lot of almonds from the cart owner and put them in a glass jar. Her father knew that Malala is well aware of his financial condition. and these almonds would be a reminder of our mistake then the next question number 4 here we have a quotation almonds are good he said if you eat them with milk just before bed it makes you brainy so here the first question from this quotation is number 1 who says this to whom and your answer is malala's father says this to malala then question number b why does the speaker buy the almonds the answer is the narrator buys the almonds as he wants malala to realize her mistakes number c the narrator tells malala that these almonds will make her sorry the question is what's the narrator reaction to the almonds and your answer will be the narrator tells malala that these almonds will make her brainy if she eats them with milk just before bed so students these are the few important question answers from the chapter and with them we have finished your eighth chapter okay now students this is the end of this pass story as i already told you so in tomorrow's class we shall proceed to the poem which has been included in this chapter itself which is named as before i go to sleep so we will read the poem tomorrow until now please note down the question answers in your copy properly and with it let me finish my today's class thank you so much for watching this video